so for today we're going to be looking at the twab it's a little disappointing considering <laughs> the blue fix is not an actual blue fix so for those of you who are wondering we're going to get into it we're going to start off in the middle where we have all the answers so Designing an economy is easy, right? Short answer, absolutely not. Nothing in game design is easy, especially when tackling the various currencies and exchanges that Destiny 2 offers. This week, we'll be diving into the economy, economy feature lead Joshua Kolinsky speaking in some, speaking to some exciting changes on behalf of the team. Beginning in the Witch Queen, Blue rewards will stop dropping from playlist activities crucible strikes gambit etc once players have reached the soft cap players above the soft cap of 1500 will instead see a slightly increased chance of receiving legendary rewards from these activities or a small amount of legendary shards uh, blue weapons and armors will continue to drop from enemies and chests while playing destiny 2 but we hope that this will reduce the need for players to manage their inventories and reduce the frequencies of visits to the postmaster when running uh, playlist activities uh, we have some work ahead of us when it comes to rarity as a subject in destiny 2 while blue gear helps players increase their power earlier in the game we want to look at their place in the overall game we aren't expecting any major changes in the next few seasons but we will spe we'll be spending time uh, behind the scenes thinking about the future of rare jobs all so i this is a pretty shitty change i mean granted it's gonna feel nice to not have blues drop from crucible strikes gambit and all the other stuff but they're still gonna be dropping from enemies they're still gonna be dropping from just in the game in general so it's still gonna be a nuisance in my opinion uh yeah it's i don't understand why we even have blues at this point considering most of the time our leveling our leveling is not even that much anymore if you really think about it the only leveling we have at this point is in the beginning of an expansion and that's really it uh, you might be telling me oh well what about the seasons unfortunately in the, or fortunately in this in the new seasons the new structure is the next season will only be 10 higher so if you're already at, at a max or if you're already at the max uh, level then you're already at pinnacle level so when the next season comes out you're already going to be farming for pinnacle gear uh that's not the case when expansions come out expansions uh they get pretty high so for that it makes sense but after seasonal stuff is over or if you're a new player it makes sense for you to get blue stuff but i feel like after you hit even like the soft cap there should be no reason blues should be dropping for me ever like blues have no relative value outside of their looks and even then that's not a problem anymore we have transmog so we don't even need to hold blue stuff to look cool we already have that fixed so we really don't need blue anymore i don't know why we still have blue uh gear again after the soft cap i feel like for that for that character blues should j just be turned off because again I'm already at the highest level I can be. There's no reason for me to get blues. So this change is kind of uh, kind of whack in my opinion, just because it doesn't really fix the blue situation. It just kind of like lowers your chance to see more blues. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, yeah, it's uh, unfortunate because it does not fix the problem. Uh, Gunsmith reputation uh banshee 44 is getting a new re reputation system that matches the other vendors in the tower such as avala and shacks this means we are removing some of the items that were previously associated with gunsmith reputation namely gunsmith materials and weapon telemetries players will now earn reputation rank progress with banshee 44 when dismantling legendary and exotic weapons and armor or by completing daily gunsmith bounties Players will want to spend their gunsmith materials and weapon telemetries at Banshee 44 before February 22nd. Any materials that are not spent will be removed from inventory automatically. Uh, also, mods and mod components are leaving as well. Uh, so just be aware of that. And basically, Raul is taking over a lot of stuff. And he's also taking away the Enhancement Prism and Ascendant Shards from both uh, Banshee and Ada, and he'll have them. Also, another really cool thing is that Rahul will actually be able to 
decipher uh, umbral engrams, which is a big, big change because now we don't have to go to the helm to also take those out. Uh, we can uh, we can just do it at the tower, so that's really cool. The other change is the fact that Hawkmoon and Dead Man's Tail will no longer be available. At, le at least the Harbinger and the Presage missions will not be available anymore. But to counteract the RNG of both of these exotics, they're gonna be available in Zer's inventory, which is pretty cool. They are gonna sp they are gonna cost one ascendant shard, one exotic cipher, one hundred and twenty five thousand glimmer, and then two hundred le legendary shards. But if you see a roll that you really like, I mean, that's pretty cool in my opinion. And the other cool thing is that Hawk Moon, Dead Man's Tail, Age of Scepter, Outbreak Perfected, Whisper of Dorm, and the Fourth Horseman's Catalyst are all going to be dropping from uh, Strikes, Crucible, or Gambit completions, apparently. So that's really cool as well. Uh, I didn't want to read the whole thing because literally I could. what I just did was way faster. Uh, it's pretty cool. Not only that, uh, save the raid date. Uh, March 5th is when the raid begins for Witch Queen. Which I think is really cool. I'm really excited for that. Uh, I will definitely be running it, hopefully. <laughs> I say definitely and then hopefully at the same sentence, but uh, I don't know yet. I haven't talked to my clan about it yet, but I don't see why I wouldn't be part of the team. Um, I will most likely be streaming it as well, but that's pretty much it. Uh, unfortunately, this is not a fix to the blue problem. This is... I wouldn't even call this a fix. I think this is just a band-aid on a, on a wound like on a gash essentially like i just blues there's just there's just no point in having blue stuff drop for me anymore um i just i don't know man it just kind of at this point it just feels like we want to keep we want to have the only thing that i can really think of is that the the loot in this game is so integral into the game's like coding that if they take out blues then it fucks up everything because again destiny 2 has a spaghetti network or a sp spaghetti code so which means it's just it's this is how it is uh not saying this is bungie's fault because uh final fantasy 14 also has a system where they can't really add more space so instead of you know making like a bank or something like that they actually have an npc that works basically like a bank at least that's what i'm from what i've been told so i don't know i just oh man i'm just getting so tired of seeing blues like destroy some of the material that i have in my bank because or in my my whatchamacallit because you know right now currently i have around almost 300 if not a little bit more of spoils of conquest uh, within my in my own inventory plus the postmaster so yeah i have 80 on my titan 70 on my hunter and then 45 on my warlock plus the the full pack that i have on my my inventory itself so i'm looking at like around 300 and i'm specifically saving those so that way i can get some drops from the witch queen raid so it's very annoying to see all my spoils of conquest left because you know i have a bunch of blues so hopefully this fixes it but again i don't think this is a fix let me know what your guys thoughts in the comments are but apparently this is a fix uh and what's even worse is the fact that they said that we aren't expecting any major changes in the next few seasons which is very unfortunate because now we're just gonna still have this blue problem but yeah, let me know what your thoughts in the comments below are. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, all its links are in the description below. I have not posted a video considering I've been working on a few videos that I got I've got asked to make considering uh, or it was an Iron Banner video specifically, but I have a bunch of videos already waiting to be made. I'm just currently trying to finish everything. So be safe and I'll see you guys later.